<laughs> Big rumors and leaks about very scary characters. So good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. Hope you're all doing super well. I am getting very ready to go to Super Nintendo World next week. I'm going to probably just be excited about that for the next few episodes here. But we got a lot to talk about, including new DLC, new big games leaked out. There's a Sony State of Play today that I'm curious about, and new details about Tears of the Kingdom. Because I feel like the roll is rocking down the hill, aka the rock is rolling down the hill. It's got me all sorts of spun around. And that is where we will go in a little bit. But first, what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hit that like button. If you enjoy the show, let's take you straight to the most exciting news of the year. The 10 out of 10 masterpiece, Metroid Prime Remastered, is getting Switch icons. Now, honestly, like, I kid, but these are some sexy icons. It's Samus and Metroids and Ridleys all dolled up in really nice, smooth visuals. I think I might rock the Metroid. Although part of me is paranoid that that's gonna like implicate something bad happening to my brain. Do you think I should rock the Metroid or should I rock the Ridley? I'm, I still need my King K. Rool icon. Until that new DK game comes out and we get new DK icons. Uh, what is my icon right now? I think it's something, I don't know. You check, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. I'll check it out when I'm playing Octopath Traveler later today. In the meantime though, let's move to something that's legitimately more exciting, which is new DLC for Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, an underrated game. I'm telling you, that's one of the best titles released last year. It is gorgeous, it is brilliant, and it uses Mario in a really unique way that is leaps better than the original, and the original was really good. Also, playing the original is where I got over $10,000 of equipment stolen from me, so I like the sequel a whole lot better than the original, but Tower of Doom, with extra O's, I'm not making it up, is being released on March 2nd, which is a new mode for the game where you enter a magical tower and have to save a special rabbit by reaching the top of the tower. So each floor will have battles with different rules and different enemies and different conditions and then save spawning at the top and you are crowned champion. That's DLC 1. DLC 2 is supposed to release this summer with a new story pack and then DLC 3 this fall with Rayman himself. I'm glad to get more Mario Rabbids DLC and now I say Nintendo. Get on your DLC. Where is Mario Party Superstars additional boards? Make it happen. Speaking of making it happen, it looks like one of the major publishers is actually going to do some major stuff at E3. We know that the big three are sitting out, but hey, Konami is ready to go. According to VGC, Konami is going to have a, quote, pretty big E3. And the two main attractions are going to be a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake and a new Castlevania game. Now, the former is pretty cool if you're a Metal Gear fan, but I do not expect that game to hit Nintendo Switch at all. Slim chance of a cloud version, or if it's years off, who knows, maybe we do get a version on the next Switch console, but the new Castlevania is extra appealing to me. All right, we have a lot of cool Castlevania collections and homages to Castlevania on Switch, but a brand new Castlevania could be sick. Now, if they go some like weird 3D open world route, I don't expect it to hit Switch, but given the success of Metroid Dread, given the success of other Castlevania, Metroidvania type titles, and given the success of 2D HD, could we get a super swanky HD 2D Castlevania that does release on Switch and is filling the Metroid void while we wait for the next entry in Samus's series? That to me is insanely exciting. I love the Castlevania games from GBA. There's a cool collection that dropped on Switch last year the year before i don't know it was in the last like 18 months or so where you could get the castlevania gba games and they're fantastic i don't think nintendo will probably bring those to switch online given konami already has its own collection for sale but a brand new game would be pretty awesome and i'm here for it i want them to come out with a new Mega Man, a new castlevania all with hd 2d or some really high def beautiful sprite action i think that would be really cool like 3d but can we do really beautiful 2D. And I know that there was that Castlevania alike released. What was that called? Bloodstain. Bloodstain Ritual of the Night and they had the Bloodstain like 8-bit game. Those were cool, but like Castlevania Castlevania? I'm just in the Castlevania mood. Remember, Castlevania all up in Smash Bros Ultimate. Castlevania coming next month 
to Dead Cells. Castlevania kind of everywhere at this point, and I think a spooky Castlevania game on Switch with really nice visuals. Or heck, if they don't want to do 2D HD, just copy Metroid Dread, because that looked great and was amazing and super fun. Bring us to Castlevania E3. Sort of exciting again. I hope it's good, because I do want to go. It's the first in-person one in the years, and clearly I've had a little too much caffeine. I don't do caffeine, so when I have caffeine, woo! Let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for at E3. Like, knowing Nintendo and Sony and Microsoft may not be there, uh, will not be there. Yeah, what what big company are you most excited to see? Ubisoft Slate, which will probably be Assassin's Creed and Pandora, the new Avatar game. Uh, Konami Slate, which seems to be Castlevania and Metal Gear. Are you pumped for EA Slate, which is going to be... Well, Jedi will be out, so maybe a new Battlefield probably Immortals of Avium. Is there something you're still excited for or is E3 sort of off your radar? I do think a Castlevania though would be sweet and I sure hope it comes to Switch. All right, we've entered the part of the show I dub the Zelda Hour. Zelda is now ever present and this is great. We've got a couple months left. I can't believe it's so close. It's like, how many days? Like 80 days away? <sighs> Feels great. There's a new advertisement posted and it's really kind of a fancy one. It is all about the Master Sword and it actually shows the Master Sword through the ages. Back in Link to the Past, back in Ocarina of Time, back in Wind Waker, even back in Breath of the Wild. And it's got a really decrepit Master Sword as we've seen represented in Tears of the Kingdom artwork. It says the Master Sword corrupted. And then below it says in the new title, its appearance will undergo a major transformation. So something significant and something story implicated and gameplay implicated probably is going on with the Master Sword. We've seen that it is really rough and tumble. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's had its heyday a long time ago. But what will this mean for Link? And is there a chance for a new weapon to sort of come into the play? Or will Link just have to go and revitalize the Master Sword with some sort of crazy technology? We'll have to wait and see. But again, this does continue to imply that time is a super important part of Tears of the Kingdom. We know that time has been utilized in many Zeldas before, but given the history of the Master Sword, showing that it's now corrupted and that it's going to undergo a major transformation, continues to make me think that time is going to play a large role in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And whether that means you're traveling through time or just somehow experiencing time rifts or items are able to go to like old form, new form, Either way, this seems super cool. I love this advertisement. And tiny spoiler thing, so cover your ears if you don't want to hear this. In the art book, we saw that it's really implying that you can take parts off enemies to create weapons. And I wonder if some sort of build a weapon crafting system is going to come into play with the Master Sword. Like how nifty would it be if you could craft your own master sword like you could imbue it with different elements or different effects or you could make like a big chonker master sword to fix it or you could make like a really long lithe master sword or you could make like a kylo ren master sword or a dual light like if that was in here that would be amazing like flexibility with the master sword to make your master sword your own just think of the possibilities and it really does look like they're going to implement some sort of crafting weapon building system so i do wonder if the major transformation may be like up to you. And how nifty would that be if there was more personal choice in Tears of the Kingdom? Like obviously we can explore it wherever we want, but dungeons coming back invents a lot of new ways for you to puzzle solve. Weapon crafting would be super sick and who knows what other systems are in there as well. So much to be told about Zelda. I'm still feeling some sort of presentation in March, but we'll have to wait and see if that actually arrives. Let me know in the comments down below if you're pumped for a new Castlevania game. Let me know if you're going to grab the Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope DLC. I think I have the season pass already, the deluxe version, so I think I'm set. But that should be really cool. And again, if you're looking for a game to play on Switch and, and you're kind of like not sure, Rabbit Sparks of Hope has been on sale a lot lately. And if you can get it for like 30 bucks, that is a steal for an amazing game. I think it's the perfect prep tool for the Mario movie as well because it's got, you know, all the major Mario characters in there. It's a fun way to see them battling it out. I don't know. I, I hope Nintendo makes a push for Sparks of Hope around the movie. I think that would be a great title to get a sales boost after people step out of the theaters. But for now, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. I love you all so much. Appreciate you even more. Thanks again for watching. Switch Force, out.